हेलो एवरीवन आई एम प्रोफेसर रितेश रंजन झा वेलकम टू यू ऑन माय चैनल मैक राइट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द नोमेडिकल प्रॉब्लम ऑफ मल्टी डिग्री फ्रीडम सिस्टम इन दिस सेशन आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इन्फ्लुएंस फैक्टर रेलिंग्स मेथड स्टोडोला मेथड डंकलीस मेथड्स नोमेडिकल प्रॉब्लम एंड दिस ऑल आर द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नोमेडिकल्स इन ऑल द यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जामिनेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट Yes, we have the question determine the value of influence coefficient for the following system. I have selected one system where are basically thrice mass four m two m and m, and these thrice are connected with one spring three k. Another four m and two m is connected with k. Two m and m is connected with the k, and thrice have some displacement value x one, x two, and x three. So here is x one. X two and X three are the displacement. Another three K, then the K and K. Try sir. These are what? A spring. Coefficient or stiffness, okay. So in this question, first of all, we will do what? First of all, we apply one unit force on this system. On this system, I will apply a unit force F one equal to one, and at the same time, we will assume that there are no any effect on the Two and m. Let's think. If I will push the system by a unit force to this, then will be three k will be three k will be going to back side or contract. But there will be no any changing in two and m. Same thing. If I will push x two or two m in this side, then there will be effect on k and three k. But there will be no effect on k. It will. Um, It will be totally free. So first of all, to finding the value of this part or influence coefficient for four m, we will do what? Let's apply a force F one on here. It is first mass. It is second mass. It is third mass on first mass. So. We know that we know what it will give a one one a one one equal to force upon spring coefficient yeah spring 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 stiffness. Its the value will be one upon three k. Okay. So it's a a one one, but we know that the a one one will be same as a one two, a one three. Okay. So where will be one? That's the value will be equal to a one one. Effect of one on the second and third. It is what a one one. Is the one upon three k a one two and one three means what effect of uh, effect on second and third spring due to first mass effect on second and third due to first mass. So its the value will be again one upon three k. Okay. Now come to the second point. Again, I will apply a single load on the second mass. Let's now apply as unit force on second mass. So what will happen is it will be a two two. So for a two two force will be one, and what will be the effect on spring? So let us see. For the spring, we will use Spring is here. I will write here K E. 
So k will be what? 1 upon k equal to 1 upon 3k plus 1 upon k for this system. What is happening here? If I will going to push by unit force to x2, sorry, m2 or 2m, then k and 3k both will be contract. Right? So that's why I will select 1 by 3k plus 1 by k because both are in the series system. So since both are in the series system, so I will uh, for the equivalent spin coefficient I will write 1 upon 3k, 1 upon k. Its so value will be what? 3k k plus 3k divided by 3k square. It means 4k divided by 3k square. k and square will be cancelled. It means 4 upon 3k. So I will write here 1 upon 1 by k equal to 4 upon 3k. So final answer will be 4 upon 3k for a 2 2. Okay. Since a 2 2 will be what? It, it will affect on this system and this system also. So a 2 2 will be this and a 2 3 will be also 4 upon 3k. Because whenever I will push the second mass in this side, it will directly impact also on the third mass. So 2 3 that is the influence coefficient and it will be same as a 2 2. According to definition, Again, if you have any query then you may see my previous video that you will solve your query. You will get the exact answer why I am writing here A22 and A23 both are the equal. Now come to the third point A33. The same thing will happen here. If I will apply a single mass on third system A33. Its the value will be again force upon K I will write here. I will again apply a single force on unit force on the third mass. Its value will be 1 and K. I am now write down 1 upon K will be 1. These thrice are in the series, so I will write here 1 upon 3K plus 1 upon K plus 1 upon K. Its value will be directly I will take the common. 1 upon k, 1 upon 3 plus 1 plus 1. 7 by 3k. So 7 by 3k, it's the what? 7 by 3k. So a 3 3 will be 1 upon k equal to 7 upon 3k. It's a third influence coefficient factor. Okay, now come to... So let's start with another question that is determine the flexible influence coefficient for the given system. System is what? It is a cantilever beam where two masses are placed uh, 0.2 meter far from the fixed point that is the first mass and 0.25 plus 0.2 0.45 meter far from the fixed point is the another mass. Uh, moment of inertia we don't know. Modulus of elasticity is given in the question. So we know that to find the value of a11, to find the value of a11, a11, we know that the formula is x cube divided by 3 e i. Another a12 or a21 both will be same here. Its a value will be x square. 3i minus x divided by 3ei and a22 is equal to l cube divided by 3ei. Now in the question everything is given here for a11 x cube will be 0.23e modulus of elasticity is given here problem is what only mo moment of inertia. So i equal to we know that pi by 64 t d to the power 4 for a circular bar and here d is given that 0 0.05 meter so if i will put here pi by 64 multiplied by 0 0.05 to the power 4 its a value will be i have calculated it its a value will be 6.4 multiplied by 10 to the power 4 and to the power meter 4 
Now we can find the value of a11 very easily. Its value will be x cube 0 0.2 to the power cube divided by 3. Epsilon is given, uh, modulus of elasticity is given here 2.1 multiplied by 10 to the power 11 multiplied by i. Its value is this 6.4 multiplied by 10 to the power 4. So if you will solve this part, you will get the exact value. Its value is 4.1 10 to the power minus 8 and unit will be meter per newton. Now try to solve 8 to 2. A12 or A21. For A12 or A21, we will for use of this formula x square for x square 0 0.2 to the power 2 multiplied by 3 into 0 0.45, it's your L total length and minus 0 0.2 divided by 3. E i e 2.1 multiplied by 10 to the power 11 multiplied by 6.4 10 to the power 4. So you will get the value. Its the value will be 1.19 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 7 meter per newton. Now I will solve a 2 2. So a 2 2 will be y. It's a very simple A22 L cube total length is 0 0.45 0 0.45 to the power cube divided by 3 EI it's a value is 0. Point, sorry 2.1 multiplied by 10 to the power 11 multiplied by 6.4 multiplied by 10 to the power 4. So if you will solve you will get the value 4.75 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 7 meter per meter. So to find the value of influence factor is very simple. Now I will solve. It is cantilever wheel. Now I will convert this system in this form. That is a simply supported wheel. Let us see. So our next question is that is based on simply supported wheel. In the system there are two masses 25 kg and 30 kg placed uh, 0.1 meter far, far from the fixed point another 0.1 meter far from the right hand side fixed point and distance between these two masses are 0.1 meter now let us assume that it is your L1 distance from this part to this fixed point is L2 and distance between these part is L3. We have given that already in the question we have given that modulus value of modulus of elasticity is the value is 2 into 10 to the power 11 newton per meter square and value of moment of inertia is also given that is the 4 into 10 to the power minus 7 meter 4. So now I will find the value of A11, A12 and A22 for this particular system. Now first of all I will focus on the formula. So for the solve this question I will focus on A11 will be L1 square L2 square divided by 3 E I L1 plus L2 it means total length I will always use the total length L1 plus L2 ok now A12 or A21 it will be what it will be L1 L3 multiplied by L1 L square L1 square minus L2 square divided by 3 EI or L. Another one is A22. A22 will be L3 plus L2 square and L2 minus L1 plus 
n3 square sorry l1 plus l3 square l2 minus l3 square divided by 3 ei now let us see what is what will happen first of all i will focus on a11 a11 it means distance from this and distance from this fixed point so first of all distance from this point that is the 0 0.1 square multiplied by this point to this point distance that is the 0 0.2 square divided by 3 e i l 3 e i l 1 plus l 2 it means total length that is the 0 0.3 if you will solve it you will get the value ok and whatever will be value that is you may solve this part very easily so no need to explain this part another part is a2 a12 or a21 so for a12 or 2 it is the effect between this part this and this effect of 1 on 2 or 2 on 1 in that case L1 we are always selecting from the left hand side we may select from right hand side also but for convenience part we are selecting here from left hand side in that case L1 will be 0 0.1 multiplied by this part to distance between this to this it will be 0 0.1 and total length will be 0 0.3 minus L1 0 0.1 ka square minus L2 it means 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 0 0.2 divide by 3 E I and 0 0.3 so if you will solve you may solve very easily so no need to explain it and now the third, third part is A22 A22 is what? L1 plus L3 square L1 plus L3 square It is nothing, it is just like A11 Now this to this square This to this square So distance between this to this part is 0 0.2 square L2 minus L3 You will differentiate this part Minus this part you will get 0 0.1 so you may select from right also it will be 0 0.1 square divided by 3 e i multiplied by 0 0.3 so it is very easy only the difficulty is formula here if you have remembered the formula then you may solve this question very easily come to the next part in this question it is the spring mass system here the one mass is uh, m another is 2m, 3m between fixed point 2m there is one spring it's a uh, spring coefficient is 3k it's a 2k and k now what will be the influence coefficient for this system let us see a11 or a12 or a13 or you may say everywhere there will be 1 you may write here 1 upon 3k 1 upon 3k because 3k is your spring coefficient and if I will apply a unit force on the system for this particular part then I will see that f upon k here k is 3k so I will write here 1 upon 3k since a by 1 2 will be a 2 1 and a by 1 3 will be a 3 1 so for this phi value I will write 1 by 3k for this five influence coefficient I will write only 1 by 3k now a 2 2 now apply a single force on this part and this condition 3k and 2k will be in the series so 1, one upon k will be the influence factor and 1 upon k for this system will be 1 by 3k plus 1 by 2k 1 by 3k plus 1 by 2k it will be 3 plus 5 5 divided by 6k 5 divided by 
6k. So a22 will be 5 upon 6k. And effect of 2 will be where the, uh, everywhere there will be 2. I will write 5 upon 6k. Like a23. It will be 5 upon 6k. Okay. Now since a23 will be equal to a32. So there is no any problem. So value of this price will be same that is the 5 upon 6k for a22, a23, a32. Now a33 will be what? For a33 there are 5, sorry 3 spring and these thrice are in the series. So I will write here 1 by 3k plus 1 by 2k plus 1 by k. So its the value will be 1 by k I am taking common 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 1 by k 6 2 plus 3 plus 6 it means 11 by 6k a 3 so it's a very, very easy thank you today i have solved all the questions which is uh, which are related to the influence factor in the next session i will solve the question related to the railings method related to the stodola method thank you